you doing here, Jim, at this hour of the night? I'm going over the books. It's about time. When I saw the light, I thought the bank was being robbed. It has been robbed. What? Kildare, what have you done with the money? Ah, uh, don't get excited over that shortage. I'll pay it back as soon as I cash in on my speculation. You will pay it back at once or go to jail. Well, you might give me a little time, Fremont. I'm being easier on you than you deserve. All right. I'll see what I can do. Kildare. Where have you been? Oh, I just had a little business to attend to. What's all the excitement out there? How should I know? Why, well, just been out, haven't you? Who's there? I've been here with you all evening. You understand? I savvy. Well? Mr. Kildare, the bank's been robbed and they've killed Jim Fremont. What? Jim Fremont dead? Yes. Poor old Jim. Well, did anybody see the robbers? No, sir. Well, they'll get away unless you catch them this side of the border. The boys are bringing the horses now. You going over and take charge at the bank? Yeah, right away. All right. Pretty slick, Kildare. I had to do it. Senor Kildare, I'm Juan Conares. You know, the bank has a note for my mother, a loan. The bank doesn't hold that paper anymore. I took it over myself. It's uh, due today, isn't it? Yes. My mother, she has plenty of cattle on the range, but no stock ready for market yet. We have no money. Will you give us time to pay you? I'll be out at your ranch later on today. Get on to it. Sure, I can do that. Like this. Oh. Oh. 
There you are. Oh, gracias, gracias, you men. Uh, you think you can handle them, senora? Seguro. I have horses for my life. Mama, oh. que pasó? Nada, mi vida. Muy bien. Why, Craig Freeman. Uh, hello, Juan. Uh, your mother didn't know me. It is Scott Freeman. You have changed it quite a little. Yes, but uh, you don't look a day older. <laughs> I suppose you've heard about your brother, Clark. Yeah. So you came back to get killed there, huh? I don't know. He has a very bad outfit riding for him. Yeah, so I've heard. Comprende, amigo? Hi, Sally. Won't you stop with us, Kurt? We are very poor now. But what we have is you. Huh. Well, thanks. But you see, I wrote Dad Moran, and I promised to stop with him. Adios, senorita. Adios. Adios, Juan. Adios, Kirk. Howdy, Kurt. Well, well, hello, Dad Moran. I'm Hi. mighty glad to see you back from the panhandle. Go right in and make yourself to home. Well, it's mighty nice of you to put me up, Dad. I'll be with you yeah. just as soon as I can get this lazy bunch of cow hands started. <laughs> Mary Lou, your father told me to come right on in. Why, Kurt. Kurt. Gee. Have I changed much? Yep. Sight prettier. I mean, have I grown up? Oh, grown up. Uh, let's see. Now, Kurt Freeman, you know I wasn't that little. Um. Uh, yeah, about a head taller. Was I up to there when you saw me last? Uh, I think so. Oh, Kurt. <laughs> sure. I messaged you the time you fell in the river and almost drowned. Oh, I'll never forget that day. I was afraid you'd break your neck when you rode down that cliff and pulled me out. Oh, the horse did it all. I just sat on him. Oh, when any of our boys say they can ride, I show them that clip and tell them to try that. Nobody's ever had the nerve to do what you did. Well, none of them's ever had the same inducement. I suppose you came through town, Kurt. Why, yes, but I didn't stop to visit. Then you haven't been to the bank or seen Kildare yet? Why, no, I, I haven't. Come in, senora. Oh, amigos, what can I do? El senor Kildar is at my ranch. He's robbed me of my castle. It took ten times enough to pay the money you him. Well, I don't know what you really can do, senora. I'd pay that note for you, but I just haven't got the money. Kill there's a thief. And if I were a man, I'd shoot it out with him. No, we haven't men enough to fight Kildare and his gang. 
Senora only has a son, and you know I only have six men riding for me. Bob, aren't you forgetting about Kurt? How about it, Kurt? I'm afraid you won't get much help out of me if you aim to get Mr. Kildare off this range. But Kurt, you... Yeah, but I came here to settle down and not to get myself killed. And I'm serving notice right now. I stand for peace. Kurt, don't you know they're saying that Kildare shot your brother? Yeah, I heard that, but nobody's proved it on him. I am sorry. I have both of you with my trouble. Adios. I'll see you to your rig. Please say we go for a ride, Mary Lou. You don't talk like a man that could really ride. Went to put a gun on me, my mind. I shoot him on the arm. What are you doing to that boy? I'm taken into jail. Any objections, Mr. Moran? He gave me some trouble. He shot one of my men up a little bit, and we had to handle him pretty rough. And that's liable to happen to anybody that gets in my way. You savvy? But I stopped here to talk business. You remember the bank lost a lot of money the night Fremont was killed. And I told you the directors are responsible for that money. What's my share? $20,000. Why, I can't raise that much. You'd better raise it, or I'll attach your property. You know I can do it, Moran. Who's that? Well, this is Kurt Fremont. He's stopping here with us. So you're Jim Fremont's brother, eh? My name is Kildare. Oh, so you're Kildare, huh? Say, I'm always glad to meet friends of my brothers, Mr. Kildare. You know, Jim had a heap of confidence in you. Well, we got along together. Uh, of course, uh, I'm hoping to find the man that killed my brother. We've all tried that. Not much chance now, but if there's anything I can do, I call on me. I might do that sometime. Of course, what I'm most interested in now is, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, did, did my brother leave any property for me? Not a thing. You haven't got a cent coming to you. Why, I had to take over the Fremont Ranch on account of the money he owed the bank. Oh, gee. I'm, I'm sure disappointed. You know, I always told you I'd never get any money unless I worked for it. I'm awful glad to have met you, Mr. Kildare. Kirk. No me vas a ayudar. On I one. Just because we used to be good friends, no reason I want to get mixed up in your troubles. Kirk. All right, come on. I aim to keep out of danger. Uh, which room is mine? This one. Uh, I think I'll take a little nap. Don't bother to call me for dinner. I don't bother about you at all. Well, sleeping's more important than eating, ain't it? And your health is more important than anything. Of course it is.
keep up front, though. All right, Diego, Rings, shoot the first hombre in one move. Si, senor, con mucho gusto. Oye, right, Chapo. OK, Capitan. Muy bien, Capitan. Jose, see you kill there, make one move, kill him. One canaries, right over this way to me, alone. Thanks, Kirk. They were lucky to get away with that. I knew they were with you all the time, Kirk. How come? <laughs> Why, your spinach is terrible. Uh, <laughs> Two men that just came in here. What? What two men? We followed them here, and I want them. I'll let you satisfy yourself, Kildare, but you keep your crowd here outside. Where's Kirk Fremont? He's upstairs in his room. I want to see him. Show me his room. I'll be down in a minute. I'm hungry. Hey, keep your paws in if you want to keep out of the trap. And seeing as we followed those men to your place, I had a right to think I'd find them here. 
Are you satisfied, Mr. Kildare? I suppose so. It's a good thing for you they weren't here, Moran. You'd have had a heap of trouble on your hands. Good night, Mr. Kildare. Oh, Mr. Kildare. Hey, uh, will you lend me a hundred dollars? No, you blockhead. Oh, Dad, he must be a wonderful man. Who's wonderful? Some Mexican friend of Juan's held up Kildare and his whole outfit at the rocks and got Juan away from them single-handed. Are they sure he was a Mexican? Oh, just as sure as I am that it wasn't you. <laughs> Couldn't have been me. First place, I was asleep. And in the second place, I wouldn't do anything that would make trouble for you and Dad Moran. Oh, Dad. And in the third place, I don't look like a Mexican, and my Spanish is terrible. Dad, I wonder what's come over, Kurt. I've never been so disappointed in anyone in all my life. Well... We'll just put up with him for a while for the sake of his father and brother. Anybody going to town tomorrow? I am. Oh, fine. I'll ride in with you. Haven't you a horse? Yeah. But you sort of convinced me that I wasn't man enough to ride. Well, he certainly has changed. Well, there's nothing wrong with his appetite. But he's got food enough there for two men. Yes. Would the exertion too much to hold the rain? I'll try. George. Privately, all of Texas ain't big enough for me in that kill there, and she's plenty big. There's a whole lot of us feel the same way about that land-grabbing son of a... Why, you old maverick, what have what you been doing anyway? I'm working day labor down here at the stockyard. Quite a parcel of your old friends down here on the payroll. Since kill there, done grabbed all our ranches. Say... How would some of you boys like to get back at that kill there? Just sure as hell, Kirk. Maybe I will. And do you think we could get this uh, El Capitan to help us? Who? El Capitan. Why, ain't you heard of this Mexican daredevil? No. Just take a walk over yonder by the bank and see what kill there thinks of it. Kildare. Yes? Is this the uh, reward offer on the level? Yeah. Oh, well, I want to make some money. You? Sure. <laughs> All right, Kirk. You show me that man and you get your thousand. <laughs> To you, senor. Say, I thought I told you to hide out at your mother's ranch. But I had to come to town. So I borrowed these. My mother wore them when she was a girl. It was for her I came, court. Why? What's the matter? My mother, she's without food, without money. She's hungry.
just here. Do your buying at the Mexican store. They won't say anything, even if they do catch on to you. You're a place, Gord. And uh, tell your mother we'll take care of her somehow. We'll raise a big stake for her. And right away. How? I got an idea. What is it? Well, adios, senorita. Don't forget, you and I got a big date tonight. Hello, Kirk. Oh, hello, Jim. Oh, so you're the sheriff now. Yes. That's a good job when uh, the bank's offering $1,000 rewards. Oh, oh. I ain't hunting that man, Kirk. Of course he broke the law when he held up Mr. Kildare. But it's my private opinion he deserves a medal. I'm glad you feel that way about it, Jim. I do, too. By the way, who's the senorita? Oh, oh, her name begins with Juan. If that's all you're going to get out of me, if you was to meet that girl, you'd take her away from me. <laughs> I sure would. Capture El Capitan. Well, at least I'm hoping to collect that reward. You? <laughs> Is that more rank or only swimming now? Be quiet, Juan. We don't want them to know you're here. But they'd be glad to hide me. Of course they would. And that's why Kildare would make trouble for them if you get caught. You're right, Kurt. If they don't know what we're doing, they cannot be blamed. How about it? How do I look? Say, Blondie, if you pass for an expander, I'm no late. I'll fix that. I'm sure obliged to kill there. For giving me the idea of disguising me. You know, I never would have thought of it if he hadn't have kept calling me El Capitan. I bet he'll be surprised to see you tonight. He won't see me if I can help it, I'll tell you that. You got the horses ready? Yeah, they're all ready.
I knew it was all a bluff. You think I'm a fool coming here on a snipe hunting party, don't you? I didn't come because of that note. I came here to get that boy of yours. I know you're hiding him here, so you'd better turn him over. Come on, bring him out, or I'll start my men looking for him. What is the Rebo? The clock, it is a little fast in your kill there. It is not always on time, like I am. Well, it's after midnight, and this El Capitan ain't showed up yet. What's next? I'll ask the boss. What's still there? Oh, El Senor Kilda, he wants us. When I was by the door, I'd have seen him. Where are you going, senorita? What happened to the other one? Give me, give me a dime. Here, take this one. I saw her go this way. Protect me. That coward? Why, he'd be for the reward. Too 
told you so. You can't bluff me. You'll have to get a search warrant. Hold it, boy. Come on, Jim. You let him get away. After him, boy. What's the matter? Somebody stick me with pitchfork. Oh, is that a nice way to treat a lady? Come on. Good morning, Mary Lou. You won't need to tidy up my room this morning. I'll do it myself. I'm glad there's something you can do for yourself. If you're trying to help with the house, you better stop cleaning at all hours and show up when meals are ready. Yes, Where were you at breakfast time? Well, you see, I figured on making some money catching this Al Capitan. You? Hmm. So I started trailing my uh, son up. Did you pick up his tracks? Mm-hmm. Where'd he go? If I was to tell you that, you'd be surprised. Hmm. Hey, you saw this uh, fellow last night, didn't you? What kind of a looking hombre is he? If I was to tell you that, you'd be surprised. Wrong with your lips? There's nothing wrong with my lips, thank you. I'm perfectly satisfied with them. Say, by the way, this uh, Capitan's got a Mexican girl riding with him. A girl? Mm-hmm. And a right pretty girl, too, they say. 
Oh, I sure wish I had that fellow's way with women. Sit down, Juan. No, thanks. I have not felt this way since I was a little boy. <laughs> you better not ride with me for a while. You better stay here. Yeah? You won't be disturbed. I'm not so popular in this house, you know. Say, what you going to do about you there? I was just thinking. Mm. You sick as thieves with that fella, Tom. You know, I like to get my hands on Tom. Alone. But they are always together. I got a better idea. My brother said Kildare was crooked. That means that Kildare killed Jim so that he wouldn't be found out. If I could get my hands on Kildare's books, maybe I could prove it. I think so, too. You know, the first time Kildare and his crowd are out of town, I'm going to pay the bank a visit. Here, check this. I can get more. Hello, Dad. Hello, honey. Hi, Dad. Oh, it's you, eh? Fremont's the name. You don't act like a Fremont. Oh, don't always be reminding me that I ain't like my brother. What's that? That's an attachment for the $20,000 you owe the bank. I told you I haven't got it. You've got it in cattle. All right, you robber. Where do you want them? I'll save you the trouble of delivery. I'll have my own men trail them over to Rasaka Creek. Rasaka Creek? You taking them to Mark Barnum's place on the border? It's the bank's place now. That hasn't moved it any. Go ahead, Kildare. All right, Marshal. Oh, Kildare. Yeah. Leave me my corral, will you? stand by and see us being robbed without at least trying to help. I told you before I'd turn peaceable. I'd say you turned yellow. I suppose I'll have to take that. Kildare's going to be out on the range all day. And I'm heading for the bank. I wish I could go with you, Craig. Yes, but you can't. Is everything clear? Yeah. Adios, Craig. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
Yeah, he is now. Howdy, Kirk. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello. Kirk. You fellas like to get back at Kildare? We sure do. Sure. 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 Count me in. Show us how, Kirk. All right, come with me. Y'all ready, boys? Sure. Well, all right, come on. naturalized by now. Hey, partner. Don't throw your young life away. Let that hero get all the glory. Sure worked out, didn't it, old timer? Slicker than Axel Green. <laughs> Just a minute, boys. I'm starting out to take my own cattle away from Kildare. That's breaking the law. And none of you boys need ride with me unless you're willing to take your chances. We don't crave to get strung up for a rustling cattle. I reckon we'll drop out, boss. Suit yourselves, so boys. On. Come on, boss, we'll stick. Great, Kirk. I don't have enough. Yeah, I know. This is getting interesting. Howdy, Miss Moran. Where's that hombre that came in here a minute ago? Why, nobody came in here, Sheriff. I don't blame you for protecting a friend, but it's no use. He was recognized when he robbed the bank. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I'll give you a clue. He's the only blonde Mexican ever seen in these parts. 
You don't mean El Capitan? That's the man. Oh, but there's nobody here but Kurt Fremont. And he couldn't rob a hen's nest. Well, you'd better let me see him. All right. Don't be ridiculous. Kurt, you El Capitan? Sure. Glad to see you, Jim. I took these books from the bank so they get in your hands. You see, uh, Kildare's been keeping two sets of books to cover up what he's stolen. That's true. You sure put a rope around Kildare's neck. <laughs> Let's go downstairs and look him over. I reckon the sheriff has a right to examine stolen property, eh, Kurt? Uh, that's the way I figured. Here's where we get rid of Moran. Kildare's coming, Dad. Get out of sight. You haven't got a chance. Get out of here, you mush-headed mollycoddle. I said Kildare was coming. I heard you. But he's got his whole outfit with him. Well, let him come. I'll shoot it out with him. Now, wait a minute. That's your tender hide out of here, Kurt. There's going to be shooting. Yeah? Well, you're not going to be in a...
Del Capitan. That's the man I want. We wouldn't have had a chance again, that gang. I suppose you know why I'm going to kill you. I didn't do it. You ain't got no right to kill me. Go on, turn around so I can put this slug right where my brother got it. Don't, don't. It was Kildare that shot him. You lie. I lied when I testified to the inquest. Kildare was at the bank that night. You can't prove that. Why well, was in Kildare's room. I saw him come back after he shot Jim Fremont. He owned up to me. That's what I wanted to get out of you. You mean you're not going Come to... Come on. You can tell that story to the sheriff. Get going. Come on. I'll get him at Moran's ranch. Have you seen El Capitan today? Not lately. You seen him? I just caught him rustling some cattle. Well, this sure is his busy day. You know, you robbed your bank this morning. What? How long have you had those books? About an hour. Here he comes now. There's El Capitan. Why, that's Kurt Fremont. Yeah, Jim's brother.
Never mind. The sheriff will take good care of you. Tell me what you were doing. I told you I didn't want to get you and Dad in trouble. That's right. Just a minute. What about that Mexican girl you were riding with, El Capitan? <laughs> Juanita, to you, senor. <laughs> 